Again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Out Studio Gallery. I have a leftover... I have leftovers from a ring pour cup. I'm going to throw some book art black gloss enamel in there. Some quinacridone magenta with iridescent pearl fine in it from Golden. Some Anita's white metallic. Some green gold from Folk Art that's color shifting. Some Hobby Lobby Master's Touch Dioxazine Purple. Some, is there some, yeah, some Emerald Green from Folk Art, color shifting. Some purple that probably has some iridescent pearl fine in it. From Golden, I'm not sure how I made that actually. Some Venetian Blue from Modern Masters. Some Turquoise color shifting for folk art, some purple flash, a bunch of purple flash actually, <laughs> and here comes my 14 by 14 inch canvas. Whoa, sorry about my head. I'm going to give myself a little bit of paint around the outside edges, take the paint off my finger. Hope that this is going to help me. I'm probably going to use an edge catcher, which just stops paint or flows paint. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. <laughs> the turntable makes it a lot easy. I have turntables and this OXO omelet turning spatula and my Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas all on the Linktree Amazon link. And if you shop there, it helps me out at no added cost to you. But I have all kinds of cool stuff there. All right, that's enough for that. I'm going to do a straight pour, which is not something I usually do. I'm going to do straight ring pour, actually. I am going to turn my turntable. I would normally overlap this, but I, since I almost never do this, I'm looking forward to it. And the colors are tremendous, although I don't see any orange in there, and there's no gold in there either. And I'm a little nervous about that purple disappearing. So I am going to take every bit of color and shuffle it down to one side. So if I want to use it on the outside edges, I'll be ready for that. I'm going to throw my spatula into the bucket and get ready to tip. You know what? I have discovered that it is always a good idea to torch first. see there's some quinacridone magenta in there. I can also see that other thing in there. Where are you other thing? Come to me while I can still find you. I'm not finding it. Okay, well I'll see it again when I'm tipping. Oh, there it is. Going in with the back end. Yeah, I got it that time. So I do like green. I don't use it a lot. This looks like it might be a lot of green. I have no particular way that I'm tipping on purpose. Other than thinking it might be nice to save some of that purple. And get to the edge. That would be awesome. and grab an edge catcher so I don't have to spill my paint without being able to have a place to retrieve it. So I'm going right down to that corner. Coming right back in again. Got some really nice colors. Some nice stripey patterns. I really want to keep that purple so bad. You can see me hesitating to go over there. What usually happens if I have a color I like and I, I'm watching it go away is I'll add that color to it. 
and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do both of that. I'm going to do that on this side. I'm going to do that on that side. So first this can go this way. And I can keep some of that purple. And then it can go over there again. And hopefully I'll get to keep some of that magenta. Now if I don't like it, I, there's all kinds of other stuff I can do. Putting a basting brush in or adding chain is one of those things. So I'm doing this right-handed, which is really weird. It's not my normal. But I am right-handed, <laughs> so it should be. Oh, I like that purple mark a lot. Makes me want to do it again with something else. And maybe I should put a little bit of black in there. I remember sometimes I forget that the black and the color shifting turquoise flash are awesome together. They make this blue color that I'm completely enamored of. So I've still got a nice mass of paint moving down that way. I'm just a little nervous about losing all of my cool turquoise. And I don't know that I have to be nervous. If I want it, I'm just going to put it back in there. Like so. Just put the turquoise right in there. And I may waggle that because I'm enjoying the color shifting purple flash so much. I think I'm going to do that too. I do have a very slippery canvas. Now I found with these adding these lumps of color that if I want to change the shape of them, I can with the with the dull end of the bamboo skewer, and I can do things like skew skewer them into spirals and stuff. And I'll find a skewer and show you. I can just add a spiral, go around, and then twist in the twist when you get to the center. I do not want that black. Leaving the edge of the canvas uncovered, so I am going to go in here with a little bit more of that. I don't think I'm going to need the paint in my cup. Now I've got Floetrol in my paint mixes, and that's a paint leveler, so between that and the GAC 800 that's also in there, and my recipe is below the video, in the description. The GAC 800 helps prevent cracking and I like all that but I'm thinking that I like this so much that it would be really nice to have some of it down here too. And maybe just continue that whole idea. Yes. Ha! go back the wrong way. Shall I put some black in there? I think so. Just to make it cohesive or copacetic or whatever. If I want something else in there, I can do that. I think the only thing that I want in there is a little bit of that purple flash.
I lied. <laughs> Those of you who come here often, I know that that's a possibility. So, I've been adding spirals after videos are over, so I thought I would maybe just do that for you guys right now. So you can see why I like to do it so much. It's similar to a waggle. This is a waggle. Even with that schmutzy thing on the stick. But the waggle sort of brings other colors into something. That's not my best waggle. <laughs> it's an integrating method. I'm going to need some more black over there and a little more waggle. Yes, I've, I've decided to stop messing around and just use colors that I love as best I can. And even though I spiraled all those out, I think I'm just going to let them flow so that they become more natural. Maybe even cover over that area of the edge of the canvas that's being so impossible to cover before I bring it back again. And then use my drips along my top edge, as you can see. Yeah, lost all my spirals after I told you I was going to make them for you. Oh well, sorry. Part of me wants to not have this striped area right down the center. But in order to do something different, I would have to add more paint in there, and I don't think I'm up for that. Good. I got an odd shape, and that's what I wanted. I wanted something not... Yes, that's much better. I like that a lot. So the only thing that I'm thinking is whether I want to add anything else to my purple, and I kind of do, I'm going to put some spots in there of the diaxazine purple, and maybe a little bit down here too. And I could still go back in. Once I have my spots and spiral them out. And maybe even make some tendrils. Just make them look more organic. My canvas is rejecting some paint today. Sometimes the inexpensive artist loss canvases from Michaels don't always hold on their paint to their paint as much as we'd like. That's cool. That's an organic thing up there. I'm dipping my skewer into my spare paint. That's relaxing in that little cup. And just using it to add even a little bit more texture. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you for joining me. I over have over 90,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I'm going to move that edge catcher out from under so it's not confusing the eye. That's a bizarre painting and I like it. I'm so happy you guys were here. Hopefully you like it too. Do I want to do anything else to it? Maybe. Yep. Just continue that right up around the corner. Make a cohesive element that 
sends your eye from one side to the other and that is okay with me. I don't want to get too involved down here but I could change a few things up because I can. That's the name of my first book, <laughs> incidentally. It's on the Amazon link or if you shop there it's at no matter cost to you. It's below show more underneath the link tree. Everything I'm doing today seems to have some sort of spooky Halloween feel to it to me. And this is October, so there, I think I like that better. I know, I get quiet when I get focused. This is pretty cool. And hopefully it'll be even nicer tomorrow when it dries. I torched to release the bubbles coat in the paint. I torched to release patterns and sometimes that works. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't. The earlier you do it, the better off you are in my opinion. It's not necessarily so the truth for everyone. My muse says to put this blue stripe in right here. <laughs> Just to draw the eye up. And I know that it could probably disappear. So I'm going to blow it around for a second. And I'm going to tell you guys, I do sell my artwork. And you can find that link underneath the link tree. That link is my email address. <laughs> yeah, I was distracted. So I kind of like that. The question is, do I want any more? And I don't think a little more is going to hurt me. Been doing this for a couple and a half years at this point. So if you guys are interested in seeing any more of the, my work, I have videos organized in playlists. And you can find them on my YouTube channel under all playlists and creative playlists. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. That really helps me. My, my, uh, my, my morale is boosted endlessly by you guys' lovely comments. Thank you so much for sharing my videos and watching them longer. And when you watch them when the notifications comes out, come out, that's even that's very helpful. My Amazon link has volume one and two of my books because I can and unlimited possibilities. Also, the Oxo Omelet Turning Spatulas and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas are there. Should you happen to be interested in them? Oh, look, I'm a mess. Anyway, so I've got lots of paint to mix coming up pretty soon. I'm thinking about two things at once, and that's not a good idea. I've got a class tomorrow. Anyway, so pixels.com and Fine Art America are under the link tree, along with my Teespring clothing is under the video, and all of our print leggings and t-shirts are there. Um, my community board has tomorrow's video, as does the uh, Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has more links to shop now, the pixels.com and Fine Art America, and... Um, what I ever, whatever I didn't tell you is that there is a drawing every single month, and should you want, happen to want to be in that drawing, all that's required is that you find the PayPal or Patreon icons on my YouTube channel header in the bottom right-hand corner, or on my link tree. And if you donate to help keep the studio rolling, thank you very much to everybody who has. I really appreciate that so much. You will be automatically entered in that month's drawing. And... Uh, you can see the exhibition video shares with you the, the drawing winner's choices. Yes, I did, and I'm not regretting it. At all. I will see you guys anon. I'm going to give you a close-up if I can. It's mostly stripes. I love you dearly. And I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying I, I hope you come again. My uh, videos air at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. depending on whether it's a weekday or a weekend. And uh, it's twice on weekends and once every weekday. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Bye for now. Priscilla out.